Yeah, I can't say I disagree with anything Rob said there earlier, but I'll take a look at the total. And first off, it's, it's two active systems or queries, however you want to call it, that I like in this game. First, we're looking at row teams on the front end of a back-to-back. -back. They are 26, 11, and 1 to the under. That's about a little bit over 70%. And that's in-conference games after the last meeting the season went under. If you just separate that into a couple of different categories, if you look at the high totals that have been played there, totals greater than 228. Since November, they are 13, 1, and 1 to the under. If you look at the games played after All-Star break, the games that matter more down the stretch where these teams really care, they're 12 and 3 to the under, which is 80%. So I like that. And then a system where if you guys follow me, you guys know these teams just played not too long ago. The system is for them to play within a week. The first game went under. The bookmakers come and adjust the second total lower. That's them telling you they expect it to be a lower scoring game. I have it as... 143, 86, and 7 to the under, which is a little bit above 62%. And likewise to what I said about the last query, if it's a conference game after All-Star break, those games that matter a little bit more for both teams, um, you know, fighting for a position, it improves to 65.3%. So I like that. I do know the Thunder play a little bit more of tempo, but the Clippers do not. The Clippers will be missing a little bit, of, not a little bit. They'll be missing one of their main scorers in Paul George tonight. And both of these teams, last five games, are top five defensive rated teams. So all of that lines up for me to take under 232, 232 and a half. Yeah, no, I mean, these two teams just spent 37 points under 238. <laughs> when you talk about the adjustment that the markets have made, I mean, we're talking I mean, a week and a half ago, we're talking about a six-point adjustment. Is that Paul George? Is that Pace? Um, is that a, a, a big enough adjustment? Is that too big an adjustment? Um, give me your thoughts on that, on, on how the, how much the markets have moved in a week's time uh, on the total between these two. Well, a good amount can be pace. I mean, uh, I'm sorry, a good amount can be Paul George. You see, when these teams just played, the line was closer to, I think, seven or, or maybe seven and a half, something like that. And now it came out around three or two. So I think a big part of, you know, what they're expecting with the total has to do with him, but also just how they've been playing lately. I mentioned the defensive rating. If you look at both of these teams the last two weeks, they're combined nine and four to the under, and those games aren't averaging that many points. They're combining to average 219.4. So they have to bring this total down. The Clippers all year long have been an under team on the road, 26 and nine to the under. They have no choice after what they saw last game. And I think it's still going to slide under that number tonight. Ski profits. What do you got to promote? I uh, do have three plays so far in the association. It doesn't mean that that would be all I play. But it's my favorite three plays that are up and available at wagertalk.com right now. And um, I just want to mention, uh, Prez, starting to learn a little bit of, of hockey. I made three hockey bets this year, and I'm 3-0. and And I'm targeting another hockey bet for next Thursday. So be on the lookout for that.